Tuka, your, your big saves early, one off Matthews, uh, sort of the point blanker in the slot, and then Marner comes down the, uh, um, down the highway there. Degree of difficulty of those for you in terms of getting reads on them? and Yeah, the, fir the first one on Matthews, that was uh, – kind of surprised me a bit, but it was uh, lucky I had the five-hole covered. He got it off in a hurry. Uh, didn't even see the release, so I, I, you know, had the five-hole covered and made a save. And then, you know, the second one, I think Marner shot it through the legs and got my glove on it. It was a, kind of a bad rebound, but battled through it. Uh, but, yeah. Uh, you know, we got a good start, but then they, they got some momentum, so it was, it was big for us to, you know, keep him off the score sheet. And then they got the couple of goals. I think it was huge, huge. Mick, front right. Uh, Took. Uh, they seem to really be trying to groove that cross ice pass, maybe circle height to Matthews one time, get you going post to post. Your team seemed to take that part of it away, and his best shot, like you noted, was right in the middle there. Uh, what what looked different from your angle that sort of kept them from getting that kind of thing going because that seemed to be their go-to uh, play for a while. Yeah, series. yeah, we, we got burnt with that in the last game, obviously, and, and we looked at it uh, this morning. So, you know, it's all about guys being aware where everybody is on the ice and kind of defending that seam pass. I thought we did a great job with that today. Uh, it always makes goalies' job easier when, when you know, you can play the half of the ice kind of and, and you know where the puck's coming from. Uh, I think he only got that one shot on power play the one timer from that spot. But, uh, you know, we, we defended hard today. Uh, there was a little few minutes there in the second period that we kind of gave them momentum and, and some room to make plays. But, you know, I thought our third period was great overall. For some reason, in social media feed, everybody seemed to want to know, was Tavares' shot uh, tipped? It wasn't tipped. I think I think uh, whoever the back checker was got uh, his stick on Tavares' stick before he kind of wanted to release. It's kind of the same play as on Flurry the other night. You know, because you're kind of sitting there, you're like, there's no way I just didn't react to that shot, you know. But then you kind of look at the replay, like, all right, makes sense, you know. Because the the release point was kind of earlier than it usually is, so it throws you off. But you know, uh, yeah, tough call. Rochi, and then front left. Tuka, uh, to your right. Yeah, uh, just a, a thought on: Did you feel locked in from the beginning of this game? And you know, I, I think you take a lot of heat in this town. Goaltenders do, and closers do. Uh, how, how good did this feel from start to finish for you? Uh, well, I personally felt good from the start of the series. I felt good all pretty much all year. You know, the, obviously the workload hasn't been too much, so I feel fresh. Um, uh, you know, I, it's all about. You know, feeling confident and, and preparing yourself the right way, trusting your teammates. I thought, you know, we, we battled hard for each other all year, and, and, you know, I think it showed again today. Front left and then Timmy. Tuka, what, what, did, uh, what did it give you guys as far as a lift when, when Sean got that goal early in the third period to kind of give momentum back your way? Huge goal. I think he can talk about it more in a minute, but you need that. You know, like, I, th I thought their line was great today. Uh, they were bringing energy and good forecheck and, and winning puck battles in the offensive zone and then got rewarded with that with that nice goal. So, you know, I mean, you go on a third period with one goal lead, you just want to make sure you don't make any mistakes and then, you know, maybe capitalize on one. And, and you know, we did. So great for him. Tim, front left. Uh, Sean might get you in on this here. So uh, bottom six step, they all contributed on the score sheet tonight. Game seven kind of brings that uh, little bit of mentality for unsung heroes. How, how did it feel to join in with those guys there? Yeah, I think anytime you can contribute offensively, it, it feels great. Um, a lot of times we contribute in different ways, but to, uh, to be able to do that was, was uh, a good feeling and um, something we – Hope to continue, but really just continue playing hard and and try and build on uh, build good shifts for our team. Sean, Tara, then Dupes. Uh, Sean, uh, your goal obviously came at the right time and just set up the rest of the game uh, in the victory. Can you just take us through that goal and how did it feel to actually go ahead and score that goal? Yeah, Noel made a good play, come out of the zone, and then um, got a little room in the neutral zone and. 
I just found myself in the slot all of a sudden and um, just put it on net really and um, they don't always they don't usually go in for me but um, that was uh, that was a good one and a big one and I think you can see by the way I reacted how I felt about that goal and um, <laughs> so if you want to know just you can watch it again I think <laughs> Tara Tuka, um, when, when Coach was out here, he, he called you the best player on the ice tonight, and maybe this one adds or builds your legacy or whatever. Are you a believer of that? I mean, you know what goalies go through and judge by game sevens in particular, fair, unfair. What, what's your general feeling about that, the way these type of games affect a legacy? Yeah, I guess <clears throat> the big audience will decide that. I just, you know, try to prepare myself every game. I go out there the same way. I'd, it really helps with the experience. You kind of like don't let yourself get too high or too low. Uh, you know, I mean, yeah, the game seven is it's a do or die situation. So you obviously want to want to play as good as you can. But you know, if you kind of let your mind wander too much, then uh, you're not going to be able to perform at your highest level. And, and you know, I, I think I I've done a pretty good job throughout the year with that. Just you know, staying even keel and and preparing myself the right way, and, and today was no different. So it just happened to be that I had to make a couple more saves than maybe some other games, but that's, you know, that's why I'm there for anyways. Dupes. Uh, Sean, just to have you talk about it a little bit more here. Um, Berge was saying as soon as he saw you going over the line, he figured you were going to nail it in. So what is exactly going through your head there? Is, do you think you've got a good chance of getting it? I did too, by the way. <laughs> wow. I wish I felt that way. Um, I, I, you know, I think when I'm thinking the the least amount is when I kind of find myself making good plays. So, you know, it's kind of like I don't really know what was going on at the time. I just was just playing and kind of taking what was next. And, um, you know, I just found myself close to the net and figured I'd put it on net really. And, um, yeah, it's I, I think when 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 I think most guys would tell you when they're making good plays, it's not much going through their head. So I think that's kind of uh, what was going on there. Did, did their guy get a piece of it? I don't know. I haven't seen I haven't seen the replay to be honest with you. I don't think so, but um, I, I couldn't tell you for sure. Front, yep. Hey Sean, uh, Tom Keegan, Boston Herald. Uh, you're from that area, Columbus. Um, they had 5,000 fans show up for a scrimmage the other day. Uh, what can you tell us about how popular it is and what kind of crowds you guys will be facing and are you looking for how much you're looking forward to playing in your hometown? Yeah, we got to watch a lot of their series because it was on other other days as, as ours early, but um, they're playing really well and probably one of the hottest teams in the league right now after taking down Tampa. So. Um, I mean, you can see from 5,000 fans at practice, it's uh, it's a heck of an atmosphere there, and um, they're playing really well, and they're going to be they're going to be a really tough team. Front left, and then Tim. Sean, what were you like during those first four games where where you didn't play, and it, was that were you that much more motivated to, to come out and try to make an impact when 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 it's tough not not getting to play early? Yeah, it's always I think it's really always hard to watch, no matter what the situation is, hurt, scratched. Um, whatever it may be so playoffs it's even a little harder and um you know i it it's a little even more calming to just be in the lineup because you feel like you've got a little bit of impact on it um but the guys played great in some of those games and i was just uh really happy to be able to get back in there at, at some point and um everything went really well with my hand